Head coach David Beatty handed out some praise to his big men this week, saying the offensive line may be in as good a shape as any unit on the football team. It always feels good to get praise from your coach for being in shape when you're a big guy especially. Some of these big men got bigger. Right now I'm like 295 to 300, 300 probably at the beginning of the week, 295 by the end of it. <laughs> Some are significantly slimmer. Now I'm just, <laughs> just fit. It's all an effort to find their ideal playing weight. When I had first got here in the spring, I was a little bit heavy, and then I had lost about 25 pounds, and now I feel great. At this offense, I feel like, yeah, I, I, me cutting weight was definitely a good thing. I think I'm much faster, and I think I'm more able to handle the tempo better. You got, just got to get in shape, man. And if it means you got to lose 15 pounds, and be in better shape and not be 330 pounds, you know, and be the typical just mauler, then, then you're not going to be that or you're not going to play here. As a team, there's more total weight on the roster since this spring, and that's a good thing. I want to say we've got 19 bodies, 18, 19 bodies there. Uh, that's great because we, we didn't have but about nine guys in the spring, and that's very difficult to get done. The five years that I've been here, this is by far the biggest number of offensive linemen we've had, um, and it helps a ton. You know, we got a lot of guys getting reps and practice and stuff like that. And then that's only going to up the competition more and more, which is making guys better on a day-to-day -day basis. The KU offense is stressing tempo, and it all begins with the men up front. There's one thing that we will not back down from. We will not change our philosophy on the tempo and how fast we play. We got to get to the ball as quickly as possible. And the faster we get there, the faster the ball can snap, the faster the quarterback calls play, the faster the running back gets set, the faster the wide receiver gets set. This offense may have a passing reputation, but the Jayhawks plan to run the ball as well. I'm a huge believer in finding who their number one pass rusher is and run the football at them and try to beat them up in the run game. And uh, we're going to do whatever we got to do to win. And if it's, if it's hold the ball for four minutes and, and grind the clock out, we're going to be able to do it. If it needs to go down and score in a minute and a half, we're going to go down and do it. So we're going to do whatever we got to do to win. For Jayhawk Insider, I'm Lee Fleissig.